Greetings once again, y'all. I'm back. It is the Mr. Kev of the body of Christ. Grace be unto you. Peace and blessings from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. And breaking news out of Buffalo, New York. This sad, tragic situation. Another mass shooting from this devil there. You can see him up there. And it says, perilous times. Because we know that in the last days, there's going to be very perilous times. That means very dangerous and savage times. So whether it's black racism or white racism, and this is a prime example here of white racism. So where are all of the race baiters, you know, because this is bona fide. I believe he had the N-word on his rifle. So to, whether it's black racism or white racism, we strongly stand against it. Let's not forget what happened in Wisconsin, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Black man, light skinned with the red truck, ran over all of those white people and it was kind of swept under the rug. You know how the media does. So now we have this racist, white supremacist situation that needs to be talked about because it's toe up, it's jacked up, and we're strongly against it. Amen. I hope to get through this video and make it quick. But I want to say other forms of uh, supremacy that are not talked about is the image of Jesus Christ being a European or being some white guy with blonde hair and blue eyes. Now to my white brothers and sisters, this is not no shot at you. But if you do your research, that you will find that this is not accurate. Nevertheless, God is a spirit. He's not a color. However, Jesus Christ, the son of God, you should not have any image of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. This is a prime example of supremacy and a brainwashing tactic from those of the higher ups. But nevertheless, the word of God is so true. It tells us for the sake of time, let's, let's get this over with. In 2 Timothy, it's late. The third chapter says, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. We know there's going to be nation against nation. This group of people against that group of people. Black against white, white against black. Perilous times, very dangerous, savage times for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, man, they out for the love of money. They out for the money. They out for the bag. Boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent fierce, despisers of those that are good. But nevertheless, we believe that the Most High shall keep us safe. Amen. For the sake of time, let's turn our Bibles, amen, to Psalm 91. Let's get through this. Because we're trusting in the Most High to abide under His shadow. Amen. Of the Almighty. Let's pick up Psalms 91. I'm going to start around verse number 4. It's speaking about the Most High. It says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Amen, we believe it. So we're not afraid, amen. Go ahead, go to the Save a Lot, supermarket, wherever you want to go. Just bring uh, Jesus Christ with you, amen. We don't fear these things, but they must be brought out. So all of them Jamal Bryant and all of the race beta, Black Lives Matter, where y'all at? Oh, I forgot. The founder of Black Lives Matter actually thinks she's married to another woman. What a sad abomination disgrace. As a matter of fact, I think another sister by the name of Candace Owens just made her cry. Wow. Hey, but nevertheless, repent, you know, turn away from uh, any hate group. So uh, anything that's taking your focus away from Jesus Christ, our soon coming King, because the Bible is fulfilling itself, amen. So we got to make it in, or attempt to make it in. The Bible way tells us to repent and be baptized, every one of you, 
in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins and thou shalt receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You know, this is a promise as unto you and to all those that are far off. You know, this is even a promise unto your children. So all we can do is preach the word. Amen. We can plant seeds, water seeds, but it's up to God to give you the increase. So I pray that God gives you the increase. Till the next time, y'all be blessed.